<laughs> Why do bees build huh? hexagonal honeycombs? I don't know. Honeybees build honeycombs <laughs> to store honey, pollen, eggs, etc. The honeycombs are built oh. using beeswax, which honeybees produce themselves. However, honeybees produce very less amount of this wax. Hence, oh. honeybees required a shape that would give them maximum storage using oh. minimum beeswax. Now, hmm. if each cell of the honeycomb would be a circle, yeah. then there would be a lot of gaps or wasted oh. space between cells. So why didn't honeybees make triangular or square cells? These shapes don't leave any wasted space. Popular research suggests that hexagonal cells use less wax and provide more space as compared to triangles and squares. This means <laughs> honeybees can store more honey while using the least amount of wax. Besides this, the overall structure is much more stable oh. and strong. <laughs> what is deja vu? Huh? It is a magical power. Nah. Deja vu is a French term, which literally means already seen. As the name uh -huh. suggests, oh. it is a strange feeling that the current situation has happened before. Mm. It is an experience in which places seem familiar, although you have visited <laughs> that place for the first time. But what causes deja vu? One of the prevailing theories suggests that huh? sometimes visual information from one of our eyes is transmitted a little late to the brain. So information from first eye reaches the brain first. Now, when the information from the other eye reaches the brain a little late, oh. our brain receives the same information twice. Hence, the situation or place appears oh. familiar. It appears ah. as if we have seen it already. That is, we experience deja vu. <laughs> Why do people go bald? How would I know? All right, I'll explain. Huh? Our hair grows from hair follicles. We have about 100,000 <laughs> hairs on our head. Every day, we usually lose about 100 oh. hairs. If new hairs don't start growing from those places, then we are probably balding. Medical term for baldness is alopecia. Oh, its spelling is so complicated. One of the main reasons for balding is hormones. We have a hormone called testosterone. In our body, testosterone is converted into dihydrotestosterone, or DHT. Now, some people's hair follicles are highly sensitive to dihydrotestosterone. Hence, their hair follicles begin to shrink and their oh. hairs get thinner and thinner. Hmm. Why do old <laughs> books smell so good? Cause books secretly apply perfume. No. Oh. Smell of old books is basically because of paper and ink in those <laughs> books. Paper is primarily made up of wood. Wood is made up of organic compounds like cellulose and lignin. Over the years, these compounds react to heat, light, and moisture and begin oh. to break down, releasing VOCs. VOCs means vanilla orange cakes, right? Nah. VOCs stand for volatile organic compounds. These compounds easily vaporize and mix in the air, thus forming the smell of old books. Now, there are different types of VOCs. A volatile organic compound called vanillin gives vanilla-like smell. Another VOC, benzaldehyde, gives almond-like smell. Ethylbenzene gives a sweet smell. In short, the combination of various compounds makes old books smell so good. Mm. Why do pop rocks huh? pop? Because they have springs in their legs. <laughs> nah. Pop rocks are tiny candy crystals. Candies are usually made using sugar, water, corn syrup, various flavorings, etc. Initially, all these ingredients are mixed together. The resulting solution is heated until most of the water boils oh. off and we are left with a thick, sticky syrup. Usually, this syrup is poured in molds <laughs> and allowed to cool and harden to make candies. However, to make pop rocks, highly pressurized carbon dioxide gas is added to the syrup and then it is cooled to subsequently form a hard candy. This results in the formation of small bubbles of pressurized carbon dioxide oh. trapped inside the candy. Now, when we put this candy in our mouth, our saliva dissolves the candy. As a result, the highly pressurized carbon dioxide escapes from the bubbles with a pop. Hmm.